Okay guys, last example here. This one is a little bit longer. It's got a grid and we've got to do a little bit of drawing. Okay, so we're gonna read it through it a little bit more carefully. A teenager pushes a lawnmower to the east with a force of 120 newtons against a force of friction to the west from the grass of 24 newtons to give it an acceleration of one meter per second squared. Okay. Step one is to draw the force diagram to scale. To scale means we have to make sure that everything is like the right size. Okay, so I decided with 120 newtons and uh, the number of boxes that are on this grid that 12 newtons per box was a pretty reasonable thing. That's going to make my kids, the teenager force, 10 boxes long and there's two 12s and 24, so that one will be two. So um, east is the direction that the teenager is pushing, so I drew that one 10 boxes long to the east. There's a dot in the middle, you can see that on your paper. Friction is pointing to the west. Um, and that's one is only going to be two boxes long. So there it is, two boxes long. And I labeled them both. Remember, you got to label them so that people know what you're talking about. Um, you could label it uh, a little bit differently. That would be okay. Um, I labeled it push and friction. You could label it teenager or applied, whatever would be fine. Okay. The next step says to calculate the net force. Show all of your work and units. There's also a direction that's necessary here. Okay. So, whoops, to find the net force which I think I inadvertently deleted the F part. There we go. Um, to find the net force, those forces are in opposite directions, which means I'm going to be subtracting them. So I did 120 newtons minus 24 newtons, which gave me 96 newtons. And then when I was trying to figure out what the, the direction would be, I just went with the bigger arrow, which is pointing to the east. So then I wrote down east, okay? Step three says calculate the mass of the lawnmower. And there's those directions. We gotta show the equation, we gotta write down our work, and then we gotta put an answer down, okay? I'm looking for mass. That was the same as example three. So there's my equation right here. Mass is F net divided by A. The net force I just calculated was 96 and it told me back up in the problem right up here that I'm looking for one meter per second squared for the acceleration. So that's what I stuck on the bottom. Now remember when you plug that into your calculator, the square doesn't go in there. That's part of the unit. It's not part of the number, okay? So it's just 96 divided by one, which I can do in my head. Um, and the newtons divided by kilograms is still, or sorry, newtons divided by meters per second squared is a kilogram. So 96 kilograms, kilograms for mass. So there's my answer there, okay? Last but not least, I've got some questions that I have to answer about it, um, which desp describes the motion of the lawnmower as the forces act on it, okay? So the net force, is it balanced or unbalanced? It's unbalanced because one of the forces is bigger than the other, okay? Um, that means that the object speed is probably going to be increasing. Um, I'd have to think about the directions if I wasn't really sure about that. Um, this object is accelerating in the direction that the kid is pushing. It's definitely going to be going faster. Okay, the direction of the motion is, let's see, it's to the east. Uh-oh, my choices are right, left, up, down. That should say east. <laughs> that's okay. We'll pick right because that's the direction that the, the east is in. Okay. Um, all right, so this concludes all of the calculating with Newton's second law. Um, if you have any questions, ask your teacher. Make sure you work on the practice so that you can understand everything better. Thanks for watching.